check out these adventures. Welcome to the weekend. It's muffin time. No, it's burrito time. So Chrissy is already out here kicking butt in the kitchen. Yeah. Coffee's in our bellies, food soon to join it. What, where are we, basketball, baseball? Nothing. What do we got today? Nothing. What? No baseball, no basketball, but burritos. We're gonna do something cool with baseball a little bit later today and then the rest of the day is up in the air. Yeah, so we might just take our day off and get stuff done, we'll see. There's still Sunday. True, and no football. Pro Bowl, but that doesn't count. No Super Bowl, so. And once the Eagles were out, we stopped caring about football anyway, right? No. Nah, we still watch. <laughs> but it's not as fun or exciting. Now we're gonna go eat. You better eat. And get on with our day. We're out of the house and finally getting this dirty truck washed. I even have a smelly thing to put in it because these boys stink. What? Hopefully, it won't smell like dirty, sweaty boys anymore. It'll be nice and clean, no rain in the forecast. Getting the truck wash before we run errands today. You stink. Oh, huh? Yes. <laughs> yeah, clean, clean. Well, Austin, we got your letter. But we probably will read it once we get back home. So stay tuned for that. Now we're headed to baseball. Yeah, we're going to for uh, this guy. Get some work in. Well, Mason's gonna work with uh, Real Athletics, AZ. There's uh, in Washington and here in Arizona. So it's just gonna be him today. Any kids that come through Real Athletics, the first thing they do is like a one-on-one -on -one evaluation, like a baseline test almost of where their starting point is. Because then if they work with you and do training there and you run drills that, as the months go along and the training continues, they kind of say, this is where you started, this is where you're at, and then they show you your progression. So we're gonna head over to It's All in the Game, which we've been there quite a few times. We'll just be Mason having fun playing baseball. Kinda see where Mason's at. Yep. If anybody has heard of Rio Athletics, maybe you are in the program. Leave a comment down below, let us know. I'm excited, excited to see what he does. Um, and you guys get to come along. Hopefully we'll be able to film some of it. So we got this camera, we even brought the, did we bring the GoPro? Uh oh, nope, we, oh we got the GoPro, so maybe get a couple different angles. Give you guys a taste of what it's like, so, yep. so you guys we'll can see. check it out for Excited yourselves. To check it out. All right, the evaluation starting. Mason starting to warm up here. It looks like maybe pitching is going to be first. Let's see where he's at for a 12-year-old. Looks like he's got the radar gun on him. Jack just saw the number. Now Mason's seeing it. Building. One more. Hey, over here. Back hand. Go back hand. Well, scoot over. If I can move you around a little bit. Right there. Now throw it to your back hand. Go move your back hand. Ready? Back hand. Oh! Stretch you out. Wake up. It's like one in the afternoon. Let's go. It's going to be a two-mile match. Okay, right where you're at. I'm going to throw you a slow roller. You're going to run. Catch the ball. Throw the ball on the run. Okay, ready? Go. Run. Nice. 
You got three of these. Two more. Run. Okay, one more. This time right here, I want you to pump your arms and run as hard as you can through the ball. Got it? Ready? Run. Good. Oh. Next is hitting. Looks good. Your best is 57 off the tee. Give me 60 off the tee. Best thing about this thing is it challenges your man. Stay low, stay low. So make sure you more. Low, you, you have a mustache like in a league. Good. Here we go. Go ahead. Live hitting. Whoa. So the first thing is we gotta get your hands away from your face. The second thing is when you get loaded, you need to get your hands from there out here. So when you hit, you need to hit the ball out here. Got it? Good. Hitting me, bro. Got it? Stop hitting the ball back here like this. Down to the attack the sucker out in front. So you gotta be able to get from your lowest spot out front as fast as you can. You got it? Try that. You do that alone, you're gonna be 63. There you go. Don't smile. You did an 80 home run. You back to 12, but that was an 80 home run. Don't smile, whatever you do. Don't smile. Don't smile, Wayne. No. You're a faker, I can tell. You're a faker, smile. Harder. There you go. Harder. Fire it up. Sixty-seven. Good news is. All right, all done with the evaluation. Was it fun? Yep. Did you have a good time? Yep. Did you smile? Yeah. He wants you to smile more. Yeah, I'm just serious on the ball field and the Baseball's course. a fun game though, buddy. Yeah. It's okay. I know. It says fun. you don't have to always be serious. Yeah. It's a good lesson for everybody. Uh, good job, right. buddy. Was that fun? You had a good time? Yeah. It was fun. We're gonna leave a link in the description box down below. There's gonna be a phone number, and uh, we're talking to Coach Troy in there. That's who was working with Mason. And uh, more or less, if you're an AZ, they just had a kid that drives up here on the weekends from Tucson. They got people coming from Mesa. So if you're a baseball player in AZ, it's in Peoria, come check it out. There'll be a phone number. We're gonna put a link to the phone number and the, uh, the website in the description box down below. The, the evaluation that you just saw Mason go through is free to anybody. You just gotta set up an appointment with these guys. They're awesome. They give you a lot of good feedback. They gave a lot of positives and uh, things that Mason needs to work on. Yep. It was very honest. It was a fun evaluation. They're, they're good guys over here. Fun, loose environment with a good, honest evaluation how Mason did and good positive feedback. Told him about stuff that he needs to work on and things he can improve on to make him a more well-rounded, better baseball player. So it was really cool to see. The evals are open to anybody. So anybody just got to so schedule So we'll leave all the links down below. All the links below. If you play baseball in AZ, it doesn't matter what skill level you think you're at, come in here, talk to these guys, check it out. Mm -hmm. It's 
anytime you play baseball, you're going to get better. And these guys give you, at the minimum, you get a good, honest evaluation on how you can improve your game. So that right. was cool to see. And I'm excited for this guy because I know his skills are there, but the mental side of baseball, the Troy Silva is huge on that, which yeah. I am all for. This game especially, a lot of it's from the shoulders up. Yep. I tell Mason that all the time. Mm -hmm. From your shoulders up is more important than even some of the fundamental stuff that you do. So it's... And I also recommend following Troy Silva on Twitter. If you guys have a Twitter, yes, you could probably yes. also leave that link down below. Um, just good advice. I've retweeted. I've you know liked some stuff that he tweets yeah, he's out. Weekly posting videos on just and it's not even fundamentally like I said. It's not even about put your hands here, do this, do that. It's typically about how to approach the game and how yes. to think and just the next level. Be better at the game. Yeah. Yep. So it's I mean he's he's a great guy and. and Obviously knows his stuff. He made two quick adjustments with Mason. And there was improvements. He also wrote a book. I don't know if anybody's read the book. If you have, leave a comment down below. Right. We'll have a link to. There's Rio Athletics AZ. Is their uh, Instagram? So that's a good way to follow him. But we'll put all the links down there. You guys can get get to him through that. Check those out. And then, like I said, especially if you're an AZ, and I know they have it up in Washington too. So if you're up in Washington, mm -hmm. check the check the, uh, the the website that I leave below. That's a good way to get to them. But if, if you're an AZ, they're new to AZ, so. It's a, it's, a, it's a hidden gem here in Peoria, or are we in Glendale? Where are we? Uh, I think it's Peoria. Peoria, hidden gem here in Peoria. So, and, it's only but me. east side, west side, wherever you're, whatever part of the valley you're from, you know how it is. If, if your kid can get better, I mean, I would drive to, I would drive to Mesa, Tucson, or wherever if it yep. made Mesa better. So hopefully, once basketball slows down with him with school ball, we're gonna be doing some cool things, doing some training with these guys, and we'll obviously show you more of that. That'll be more of the drills that we run over here. But it's a lot of fun. Mason had a good time, I hope. Yep. I did. I want to go out there, but I didn't want to get an evaluation <laughs> on me because the evaluation on me would be pretty rough. It'd be one star rating. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's, that'd be a little high for me. You had pretty good star rating, so that makes me happy. Good job, buddy. Mm -hmm. All right, boys. I hate to do this, but we got to run some more errands. No. Would you stay here? Where are we going? <laughs> he Maybe would. Stay Don't give him that option. He'll <laughs> stay. He'll I want stay that option too. What are you talking about? I'll just throw it to my arm. Fall um, Maybe possibly get a new phone. Now we're talking. Now oh, okay. we're talking. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> and new shorts because you keep growing. Your shorts oh, are getting too small. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> All right, let's head out. Hey, buddy, what's your name? Shane. Shane? Mm -hmm. He says he watches our vlogs. He found us in Dick's Sporting Goods, of course. Thanks for saying hi. You're welcome. Did your Good sister make you? Is that your sister? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, thanks for saying hi. We appreciate it. Good luck to your Rams, too. Thanks. Have a good day. <laughs> Dinner is served, boys. Can you handle that? Yes. First time at Grimaldi's. We tried this once before. They were changing out the coals in the oven, so we didn't need to hear I don't know if they can hear you. The music's kind of loud. <laughs> Probably not. But we're excited. We had salad already. Good morning. It's Sunday. I'm downstairs. The boys are slowly waking up, making their way downstairs. I apologize, last night we got home after eating that wonderful pizza at Grimaldi's, got home, unloaded the truck, Jack and I watched an episode of This Is Us trying to get caught up on that, Mason played a little video games, and then we all went to bed in the house. This is all of our shopping from yesterday, including the letter that we still need to get to. Um, so as soon as the boys get down, we'll probably talk about some of that. Well, it's definitely time to make breakfast. It's 9 o'clock in the morning and my stomach is rumbling, but I need some counter space. So, boys, I think we need to go through this and put this all away. Will you guys help me out? Oh, look at him. Oh, what? What? I gotta do what? If you guys want breakfast, you have to put oh. your stuff away. Sneak by. Ah. I think the most important thing oh, that we he? got was <laughs> Mason got a Pez my, uh, while we were out and about yesterday. That was from Big Lots. Let's see. Should we still stick with the Big Lots theme then? Okay. Go there. We got random stuff at Big Lots. Okay. This is the word. I got for 50 cents, I was like, okay, a back one. Nice. It's a Mario back one. The only thing we can come up with is that at Christmas. Oh, yeah, we lost her. We lost our scissors. Um, we've been using Mason's old school. I didn't mean it like old school, but his old school scissors. Yeah. Old school, baby. <laughs> so we bought a little bit better set for here. I don't know. We must have just grabbed it up with all the wrapping paper. And yeah, that's the only thing because they have not shown up. They've never so come back. So. Got a new key holder. Oh, yeah, you can put that up today. Thanks. Uh, what? 
You need to get back to sports. <laughs> you don't have sports. This is oh, you happened. have to set up the printer today, too. Oh, what? A new what are you doing? <laughs> Moving on. We went to the um, Nike outlet store, and that's where mom scored. Mom. I got some new Nike got shoes. Some new Nike shoes. $30. Whoa. Running. I did good. We went to Under Armour. Ooh, bad lighting. I got to stay over here. And Mason, I think I said this, he is getting, he's growing. I, okay. So we're having an issue. If he wears extra large kids, they're way too big in the waist. So I was like, let's try adult small. They're a little big still, but he's just growing out of all of his shorts. I don't even. It's big in the waist, so. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a true struggle. Too many sports to get fat like me. <laughs> so. What else do we have? Got a, um, Dicks, basketball yep. tights. Yep, he needed more tights to go he underneath. Because he's diving for loose balls. Yeah. His basketball uniforms. Went to Bath and Body Works. Okay. Like I said, I got smelly boys. <laughs> we got new wallflowers. We picked out, I don't know, what, six or seven? Six. Ooh, that's yeah, pretty. That's wrappy. So you plug them in and so smells good. So my house doesn't smell like stinky boys. Yes. And then? and then, most importantly, Ooh. what they're super excited for, Dad stepped up the game and got the new iPhone. Yeah, we're setting that up all last night. Yeah. And Mr. Mason, did you get a new phone too? Yep, but yeah. it's not here. Where is your old phone? Do you want to show why you got a new phone? It's cracked. That's, that's what he's you been can't dealing use the with. camera or anything like that. Since, ooh, we're blurry. Blurry, blurry. Since, let's like, see. New Thanks, Year's. No, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving? Oh, he yeah. has been dealing with the cracked phone since Thanksgiving. And honestly, not for sure what happened. We were spending the night at my sister's house and we were sleeping and he set it down next to him on a little dresser didn't drop and it, didn't, didn't drop anything. it and the thing exploded. So this kind of had, scary. had a lot of heat issues. Yeah. He would always complain, my phone's so hot, my phone's so hot. So the only thing we're thinking of, because... He got overheated and... If he dropped it, he would have told us. Well, we but, were sleeping. There's no way he dropped it. But that's what I'm saying. It. But regardless, because like, he woke up in the morning, he's like, my phone broke. And I'm yeah. like, what happened? I'm all, what happened? What happened? He goes, nothing. I set it down. I'm like... Yeah. So I don't know if it was the heat, just the glass couldn't take it after a while. But that was what was weird about this, is I actually went to go get an iPhone 8. For me, because it still would have been an upgrade over what I had, but it was cheaper because of the promotion they were running to get the XR. So was it really? Yeah, that's uh, why I, I, I get what I. I left. I decided to go yeah, shopping. Yeah, like, I'm going to deal with the it's like, Yeah, I was store. actually just going to get this, or no, the iPhone X. I was going to get, but yeah. the XR was cheaper. So I was going to say the eight was pretty. No, no, I meant the other way. The so X. he has an eight coming. Um, they didn't have it in the store. They had rose gold, which he didn't want. So we had to order a black one. And it should be here in a couple days. So normally we don't buy him a brand new phone or upgrade him. He normally gets hand-me-down, so he's quite excited because he is getting a brand new phone, not a hand-me-down. And the reason for that is because Jack actually needed a new work phone. So Jack's phone we would normally hand down to Mason, but he needed it for work. So I'd rather beat up my work phone. So you luck out and get a brand new phone. And well, not, I mean, it's an 8. We didn't get him the, like, the X, what is it, XR? XR, an iPhone 9. Yeah. XS. Did you show him his new list of chores? <laughs> I know, right? No. So I'm about ready to order him a new case on Amazon. I got a new case yesterday. So hopefully too. everything gets here all at yeah. the same time. Got a new deal. This was on sale at Best Buy. And I got a new pop socket. Very Mark. cool. So I think that was pretty much, we shopped till we dropped yesterday. That That's what happens out. when we don't play sports. Yes, so we, we do next <laughs> Find something to do. Find something to do. Find sports. Please. Well, next Sunday is the Super Bowl, too. Mm. Okay. But yeah, we're going to put all this stuff away, boys, and I'll make breakfast. All right. Looks this better. Way, that way, this way. Now I can make some breakfast. Got some room. But we also had this letter. Mason, do you want to go ahead and open that? Did we say where this is from? This one is from... I know it's Austin, right? Yeah. New Jersey. Pennsylvania. Uh, I mean, Virginia. Looks like Oregon. Dear the Bebo family, I've been watching your videos for four years and I look up to Mason in sports and I even have the same numbers as Mason in basketball. <laughs> I wear number 11 nice. and in baseball, I wear number one. Or one? Yeah, yeah, one. And even on a travel baseball team called the... Pendleton Black Sox. Pendleton Black Sox. As well. As well as basketball. Overall, you are my favorite YouTubers ever. Thank you. Yes. And also oh, yeah. use the promo code Bevo50. You got 
Uh, plate crate, cool. Uh, I hope you liked your plate crate. We should have plate crates coming. I know yes. you guys have been asking. And then Luckily, all you guys bought up so many plate crates over the holidays that uh, they didn't have any to send us, which is fine. <laughs> <laughs> but they're coming back. So, and the name is Austin. So thank you, Austin. Thank you. And then thank you for the letter. We got so rookie debut. That's pretty cool. Mitch Hanniger. Hanniger. Oh. AJ Pollock. Oh. Mr. Dodger. Mr. Dodger. You still like him though, right? Eh. Not anymore. Oh, whatever. AJ Dodgers. was super nice when you met him, dude. And he was uh, a nice guy. Aaron Ooh. Judge. That's cool. Future stars. Oh, that's a cool card. Chris Bryant highlights with the Chicago Wrigley Field Ivy in the background. That's really cool. Giancarlo Stanton, league leaders. Classic. Zach Godley. Remember him? He flew, flipped a ball yeah. to you in the, after warm-up. Nick Ahmed. That's my the, favorite Diamondbacks player right there. Probably the nicest guy on the Diamondbacks. Mason's met him multiple times and every single time. Couldn't have been a nicer guy. Gary Sanchez. Gary Sanchez. Nice. Zach Granke, league leaders. That's a cool card. Cool. And that is it. Thank you, Austin. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Thank you guys like always. Like we always say for the letters. So cool of you guys to reach out because that's, mm -hmm. I don't want to say it's easy to comment. We definitely appreciate you guys commenting on YouTube, Instagram, and all that stuff. But it's this taking is a, that extra step. A little bit extra Putting touch. a stamp on the letter, sending yes. it to the postman. Oh. Very we cool. appreciate it. Question Pancakes, waffles, Wait. French toast. What do you guys want for breakfast? Mmm, choices. And it looks like we're gonna have to find a different van sticker. This one's real thick and it's just not staying on. Yeah, we should probably just kill it. I'm gonna put it under that. Okay. Or right there. That's Looks your bottle, good. dude. You do whatever you want. I like it. Very cool, very cool. Alright, I'm gonna make breakfast. There he is. Harry. Is. That Harry, yeah, he is Harry. About ready to get this hair done. He's actually growing this out, no. so he's gonna oh don't sorry, don't mess up his hair. But he definitely needs to be cleaned up. So that is where we're headed, and you're doing the same. Doing the same. Yeah. All right, boys. Let's the go. The befores, and there he is, the after with a sucker. Where's your sprite? Sprite printer. Sprite. <laughs> as usual, printer. looking handsome. Up. Oh, here's the other handsome boy. Coming in, I can hear him. Let's see it. Oh, so much better, boys. Do you feel fresh? Oh, I missed it. Where's your sucker? <laughs> Hi, Where's, your right here. <laughs> Where's your sucker? Where's your sprite at, bro? I'm going to put some burgers. They were already seasoned. What did it say? Steakhouse seasoning? Steakhouse seasoning was like pepper, onion, and uh, garlic. Garlic. So we'll see yeah. how those turn out. And then buttered buns. Buttered his buns. What? <laughs> <laughs> And then we got sweet potato fries, regular french fries. Red Robin fries. They are Red Robin. So, mm. the Red Robin seasoning. Yum. 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 Did you explain what we did today at all? Uh, we shopped some more. Right, I got to put burgers on the grill. What did we get? I don't even know. Oh, we got a new toaster oven. Hey. So this is getting gross. So I've learned, I think, just to buy a toaster oven every six months. Because they get so gross and you can't. We've clean tried them. cleaning those pans like crazy, and it's, yeah. eventually it just gets to the point where we just. Furnace I think stage. we we use the crap out of our toaster oven, yeah. so that's. Maybe not everyone has the same problem we do, but we definitely use a lot. <laughs> yeah, we like our chicken nuggets, I guess. Yes, we do. <laughs> we pretty much just shopped the whole day. <laughs> that's what we do when there's no sports. We spend money. It stinks, but. We get caught up, that's also what we do. Well, I think we are going to go ahead and end the vlog. Everybody's full, except for this guy. Still eating. What? I saw that, I saw that. I think we're gonna end with some Rice Krispie Treats. Snap, crackle, pop. Yeah, it's the, it's the strawberry. The new one. Yeah. I think we're just gonna maybe catch up on some shows. This guy is probably going to play some video games. How is it? Good? Yeah? But I think that's going to be it for our weekend vlog. It was a good weekend. Got caught up in a lot of stuff. Sports will return next weekend. <laughs> As always, Thank you. thanks for watching. We will see you next time. Subscribe, like this video, and comment some in the comment section. And check the eye in the sky for awesome video entries. And last four you go adventures. 
and don't press the bell down below so you get notified when we post the next video and don't check out next time's adventures.